horrendous crimes if instead of recognizing the occupation, the sovereign right of the Palestinian people had been recognized. Our unambiguous proposition is the return of the Palestinian refugees to their homeland and the reference to the vote of the people of Palestine, all Palestinians, to exercise their sovereignty and decide on the type of government. The third cause for the demise of the existing order has to do with the outlook on nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is clean and cheap and a heavenly gift, which is amongst the most suitable alternatives to cut pollutions emanating from fossil fuels. The Non-Proliferation Treaty allows all member states to use nuclear energy without limit, and the International Atomic Energy Agency is mandated to provide members member states with technical and legal support. The nuclear bomb is the worst inhumane weapon and which, one which must totally be eliminated. The NPT prohibits its development and stockpiling and calls for nuclear disarmament. Nonetheless, please note that some of the permanent members of the Security Council and nuclear powers, i.e. those who hold the nuclear bomb, have resorted to a measure. They have equated nuclear energy with the nuclear bomb and have distanced this energy from the reach of most nations by establishing monopolies and pressuring the IAEA, while at the same time they have continued to maintain, expand, and upgrade their own nuclear arsenals. You may have heard that in the current year, the United States administration has asked for $80 billion to upkeep its nuclear bombs alone. This has entailed the following. Not only the nuclear disarmament has not been realized, but also nuclear bombs have been proliferated in some regions, including by the occupying and intimidating the Zionist regime. I would like here to propose that the year 2011 be proclaimed the year of nuclear disarmament and nuclear energy for all, nuclear weapons for none. In all these cases, of course, I admit that the United Nations has been unable to take any effective course of action that has been viable or meaningfully viable, viable. Unfortunately, in the decade proclaimed by it as the international decade for the culture of peace, for example, hundreds of thousands were killed and injured as a result of war. Aggression and occupation and hostilities and antagonism have been increased. Ladies and gentlemen, very recently the world witnessed an abhorrent and an inhumane act of burning the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is the divine book and the eternal miracle of the Prophet of Islam. It calls for worshipping the one God, justice, compassion toward people, development and progress, reflection and thought, defense of the oppressed and resistance against oppressors. And it names with respect the previous messengers of God, like Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Joseph, Moses, and Jesus Christ, may peace be upon all the prophets, and endorses them. They burned the Quran to burn all these truths and good judgments. However, the truth cannot be burned. Quran is eternal because God and truth are everlasting. This act and any other act which widens the gap and distances between nations is evil. We must wisely avoid playing into the hands of Satan. On behalf of the Iranian nation, I pay respect to all divine books and their followers. This is the Quran and this is the Bible. We pay respect to both books as both are dear to us.